Now, we have made it to the kitchen. We're getting ready for our experiment, but I want to remind us of what one of our Bible verses said. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. So let's see what our science experiment has to help us understand what us being light in the world um, has to do with our faith and has to do with doing good things in the world. Now, for our science experiment, um, you only need a few things, but one of those things is very, very important. You might have noticed that I'm wearing gloves. Now you might be thinking, I'll just be really careful. I don't need gloves. That's not true. You're definitely going to want to grab some gloves. So do not neglect these, the most important thing that we need today. Now, second most important is we are going to need a glue stick. Um, glue sticks are pretty cool, pretty common. We're used to, um, seeing them and using them for different occasions. But today we're going to sort of dissect this um, glow stick, find out what's inside and explore the science um, behind what makes them work. Now, of course, the science is helping us understand our lesson for today. Um, so you're also going to need two cups and those cups are going to need to be labeled. As you can see, one of my cups is labeled Christians. The other one of my cups is labeled, can you guess? Good deeds. So when we break this um, apart, or rather cut it open, you're also going to need your kitchen scissors. Um, we are going to separate the contents into these two cups and use that to help us talk through our lesson. Now, um, I'm gonna do this a little bit off camera but basically all I'm doing is I'm taking these scissors and cutting the end. Um, make sure you cut it over the cup and you're going to dump out the liquid. Now, when you cut it open, you're going to discover that not only is there liquid inside, but there's also a very thin glass tube. That's part of the reason that we need to be careful and have gloves. One reason is because there are chemicals in this glow stick. The other reason is because there's a tube of glass. So let me cut this open and we're gonna see what's going on inside, okay? I'm gonna cut this open over my Good Deeds cup to dump the liquid out. As you might have heard, I just did a little snoop. And here it is in my cup. I'm giving it a little shake and you see as I shake it, out slides the glass too and the liquid pours into the cup. So shake the liquid out. I've got the glass tube sitting in this cup, but that's only so that some of that liquid can slide off. I'm shaking off the little glass tube into that cup. And now I have just my glass tube left. Taking my glass tube and I'm holding this over my cup labeled Christians. I'm gonna take my scissors again and do another snip. I'm gonna do it down at the very end. And when I do it, I'm gonna be holding it inside of the cup. Um, the glass is going to break and there's a chance that it could kind of splatter a little bit. And we don't want that to happen. If it does happen, we want that to happen inside of the cup. So I'm gonna make my little cut, and then I'm just gonna shake the tube and get all the rest of that liquid out, okay? Take a listen, you might be able to hear the glass break. There it was. And all my liquid is coming out. Gave it a good shake, shake, shake. And all I have left is this almost empty tube, and you can even see the pointy bit of glass left at the end. I'm going to throw this away in the recycling real quick. And I'm back. Okay. So here is our cup labeled Christians and here are our good deeds. Now, you don't have to have a bunch of good deeds in life in order to be a Christian. All you have to do is believe in Jesus. But when you put your faith 
and good deeds together, a beautiful reaction happens and you shine bright in the world, brighter than you did before. And that's just what our Bible verse says, is that we want to let our light shine before all people so that they can see our good deeds and praise our Father God in heaven. You might notice that the good deeds by themselves, you couldn't really see them in the cup. But when you add them to our faith, when you use your good deeds to point people toward God um, and to show people um, not only who God is, but who God has been to you in your life, it shines even brighter than before. Um, you might have noticed that this is shining bright even though I'm in the middle of a bright room. But of course, it works even better when you are in the dark. So we're going to move into a dark room and see what happens there. All right, going to hit pause. Here we go. Okay, it is very, very dark in here. But look, what do we have? We have a little bit of glow happening. Now, like we said before, this is the example of our Christians in the world. But... We haven't added our good deeds yet. And remember, like we said, we're in the dark right now because this works best in dark places. Now, it's good to do good deeds where there's already good things happening. But part of the reason that Jesus likes us to be his hands and feet in the world is because there are also lots of dark, place, dark places that really, really need God's light. So let's see what happens when we add in those good deeds. Even brighter. Even brighter. Even brighter, each one of them shines. And as you can see, when I hold it up to my face, it's so light, so bright. It can light up the whole room. Let's go back inside. There we go. We're back inside. I am peeling these gloves off and we have finished with our experiment. Now, Jesus teaches us to do good deeds, but he doesn't just teach us. He also helps us do those good deeds whenever they arise in front of our faces and um, we get that little nudge inside that maybe there's something that we could do. And that's a huge part of what faith is. Faith is all about getting as close to Jesus as we can and the more that we spend time with Jesus, the closer that we get to Jesus, the more our hearts change. And the more that as we go through the world, Jesus is able to give us, a, give us those little nudges, show us people who are in need, and show us situ situations where he wants us to step in, do some good deeds, and be his light in the world. And that's what our experiment is teaching us. Now, before we go, I've got one last aspect to add to this activity for us today. Um, I hope that you are able to grab a bunch of glue sticks and try this out at home. Um, it's important that you uh, take your time and um, definitely practice uh, some safe habits as you do it because there are a lot of little pieces um, that could do some harm. Um, but once you're done and you've got all of your um, glow stick liquid collected, um, I want you to take that liquid, find some paint brushes, and paint a picture that reminds you of this lesson, reminds you of uh, Jesus's encouragement for us Christians to be his light in the world um, in many ways, but also by doing good deeds um, in the world around us. 
paint a picture, um, hang it up in your room, and uh, at night, tonight, it should still be glowing, and you'll be able to um, see it as a reminder as you sleep. Uh, when I see you this afternoon at 3 o'clock, I'll have painted something and I'll share what that was with you guys. And I hope you'll have painted something too and we can chat about it. Um, but that's it for today. Uh, I'll see you this afternoon. Have fun in the meantime and I'll see you later. Bye!